Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is two five oh. Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe Yo, yo, yo Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here, 250 Gemstones Exchange. This is where I give you guys great content. And in exchange, you guys have been like, comment, or subscribe. Hopefully, all three of the above. Don't be afraid to share my videos. Pass me around, pass me around, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. Y'all go pick y'all up something. Pick y'all up some entrepreneur support your boy wristbands t-shirts hoodies i got everything over there pick it up pick it up pick it up percentage of the proceeds will go out to helping the youngsters in the inner cities of dallas also check out my spotify podcast link is in the description y'all stay and watch the whole video we need to talk i got a video of once again officers trying to put boots in a nigga's ass oh yeah Trying to put boots in the nigga ass once again. Racial profiling once again. Man, he's a, he's a security guard. Black man was a security guard himself. A black security officer lawfully carries around a gun. And he was just on his way to get his baby some French toast. Ends up in jail and he lost his home. Y'all watch this video. I'm going to be right back with you. Give you my opinion. Let's go. Let's take a look at this mess right here. This is according to lawandcrime.com. Fuck, we got the wrong guy. Fire security guard with lawful registered gun sues Texas cops for arresting him as he drove to pick up some French toast for his kids. Article written by Matt Naham. Let's see, let's see. A 27-year-old Texas security guard who lost his job and his home after he was wrongfully arrested in 2021 is suing the city of Dallas and multiple police officers for jailing him even after one of them exclaimed, F, we got the wrong guy, realizing the spelling of his first name was not the same as domestic violence the domestic violence suspect they were looking for. So they were looking for somebody that was beating up on their girlfriend or beating up on their boyfriend. They were looking for another man. Sylvester Hayes filed suit in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Texas on October 16th against Dallas Police Department officers Walter Paul Guab, Holly Harris, and 10 does for allegedly violating 42 U.S.C. 1983 in his 4th and 14th Amendment rights on the morning of October 16th. He was just on his way to pick up some French toast for his baby. While driving to get his children's favorite breakfast meal of French toast and bacon at a restaurant that was located only a few blocks away from his residence, Plaintiff Hayes was racially profiled, followed, and then pulled over by defendant officers Harris and Guab. Sylvester Hayes lawsuit said he had never been arrested in his life and attributed being falsely accused to racial profiling. The individual that cops were looking for had a first name spelled Sylvester rather than Sylvester. So the person they were looking for, uh, they were looking for a guy named Sylvester with a Y, but his name is spelled Sylvester with an I. You dig what I'm saying? That I and that Y would get your ass time. Rather than run a check on a plaintiff Hayes driver's license through the Dallas Police Department database that was accessible from the computer in her Dallas Police Department cruiser, Defendant Officer Harris erroneously informed Defendant Officer Guab that Plaintiff Hayes was wanted for a family violence warrant without verifying the erroneous information that was hazardously provided to him by defendant officer harris defendant officer guab marched back to the plaintiff hayes driver's side window without explanation and proceeded to reach inside plaintiff hayes vehicle to open the driver's side door so they just ran up on this man without doing a background check 
ran up in his car. Now let's see what he's about to do. Now let's see what he's about to do. Hayes also alleged that telling the officers he had a handgun lawfully registered in his name inside his car and was quickly used against him when several other unnamed officers arrived on the scene. Let's see. Let's see. Once Hayes was hauled into the back of a police cruiser, the lawsuit said Officer Holly Harris finally checked plaintiff Hayes' driver license through the Dallas Police Department's database and audibly stated on the body cam footage, F, we got the wrong guy. This is absolutely absurd. Why didn't you just do the freaking background check before you even arrest the guy? Absolutely racist. Absolutely racist. They're trying to put boots in the nigga ass. They just lazy. Lazy, incoherent, incompetent, all the ends you can think of. I'm going to meet y'all on the other side to give you my opinion. Let's go. Y'all hear that shit? Did y'all, I mean, uh, did y'all hear that stuff? Would y'all like to know my opinion? Would y'all like to know my opinion? Of course you do. That's why your ass is here. These officers are jackasses. They need to be locked up. They need to be arrested. They need boots in their asses, right? How do you lock up somebody? Man screaming for his life. They don't care if a nigga scream. They don't care if a nigga is trying to do well in life. They don't care if a nigga doing bad. They don't care if you just trying to get yourself out the mud. They don't give a damn. They just got they got to get them. Uh, well, the prisons are full, so I don't know why they still trying so hard to get niggas back there, but they trying to get your nigga ass locked up. Why didn't they just run? his background on the Dallas police database. They have a database, run his license uh, through the database. That in itself lets me know that you don't know how to do your damn job. Name an occupation where you don't know how to do your damn job and you're able to keep your damn job. You're able to keep your damn job. Name one, name one, name one, name one. An absolute mess. Racially profile, oh yeah. Oh yeah, because in their minds, this whole gun thing, black man owning guns, that's what I say, all black men need to have guns. All men really need to have guns. We're the providers and protectors of our families. And there's a whole bunch of psychopaths walking around here, but especially black men, we living in America, strap up. Do what you gotta do. Make sure stay, keep your nigga ass out of jail. Strap up, protect yourself, protect your family. Put some money back for some lawyers to get you out because this world is crazy. Our justice system, a lot of times they ain't even seeking justice. A lot of times they're not even trying to hear the person out. But the bigger picture, they don't believe black men are competent to have competent enough to have guns. They don't believe a black man is deserving of the rights to have guns. And that's the overall issue. Just like John Morant. John Morant was flashing a gun, but there's tons of videos of white men shooting animals. There's a whole bunch of videos of white men flashing their rifles. There's a whole bunch of white men showing their children on YouTube how to shoot. So, what's the difference? It's cool when they do it, they get mad when I do it. It's cool when they do it, they get mad when I, when I do it. Yeah, they, they get mad. They don't believe black men deserve another rights of America. The black man has a right to own a firearm. And this is why it baffles me how some black men, especially uh, men who are uh, black men who are liberals, believe they should give up their ultimate way to defend themselves is a gun. A gun is the best way to defend yourself. I don't know about other countries in America. A gun is absolutely the best way to defend yourself and your family. You're a grown man. 19 and up, get you something. It's not just because the, ra the the racism here. It's not just because the, the prejudice that lies here. There's just crazy people. There's ignorant people. There's ignorant mofos within our own community. The black community. You got to keep some on you because mo mofos be acting crazy around here. They're acting crazy. So I, I don't understand how a black man think it's, it's in their best interest to disarm themselves. But going back to what I'm saying, they don't believe black men should have a gun. They really don't believe a black man should be talking back to the law. They really don't believe a black man uh, is deserving of a fair, uh, fair treatment of the law, a fair trials. 
Because if you if they believe in fairness, if they believe in justice, why didn't they just run his uh, background check through his license, run his license plate, run his driving license? But even then, you know, I'm not understanding. They said uh, the name something sketchy. First off, you pulled him over. First off, you pulled him over. So it is racial because you didn't even know his name until... They told you until he told you his name. When you when you pull somebody over, you don't know their name unless they run in the license place. I don't know how all that works. I'm gonna do some more research because I, I gotta step my game. I gotta start my I gotta step my law, my law game up. Do they run the license plates? So I'm pretty. I'm thinking they ran the license plates before they even questioned him, and that's how they saw his name, Sylvester. You know, and then they check the, the driver's license to confirm does he have any prior arrests. They're looking for those priors. So they know that a lot of people ain't doing too well in America. They know that a lot of people are struggling. They know because if you're poor, you will go to jail, even if you don't commit a crime. Here's the thing. If you get behind on paying, uh, uh, let's say you broke and you don't have money for your car insurance, you're just doing bad. It happens. To, it happens to them. They said the average American don't even have five hundred dollars in their savings. So it is absolutely possible for somebody not to have money for their insurance. You get caught without driving insurance. Now you got fees and fines. The fees and fines pile up so much and so quickly to where you can never pay it off. And then boom. Warrant, driving out of license, boom. Now you get your license suspended. Now you're getting caught driving without your license. Now you get caught again. All this because you didn't have the money just to pay off the stuff to begin with. Oh, yeah, people doing bad. If you're doing bad, more than likely, you might get in trouble with the law. More than likely, you're going to get in trouble with the law. You need money to survive, to keep, to keep your ass out of jail. So knowing that most Americans are doing bad, they don't give a damn. They just still want to make your life a living hell. This is why I have no sympathy for incompetent cops because they told us it's our fault that we don't know the law. Thousands of laws are being passed every day in this damn country. Laws that they, that we never agreed on. Laws that haven't been uh, pushed through the, the public. You know, they do push it, but it's not the forefront. Like, you know. They need to put out pamphlets to every residence or put it on uh, Facebook. They need to be promoted whatever city you in. And uh, they pay Facebook to brush, so we can brush up on the laws to see what's uh, current. Because there's a lot of law. They want us to keep up with all the local laws, state laws, and federal laws. Who the hell got time for that? Their job is to make us live in... So, so by them telling us that we need to know the law, it's, our, it's, it's no excuse not to know the law. There's no excuse for a cop to drag a black man out his car, put boots in his ass, and then uh, look up his information after you didn't assault him and it's all caught on the body cam. There's no excuse for that. Just like you don't give the American people, especially black America, a pass for not knowing the laws, we can't give you a pass for being incompetent as uh, law enforcement, as somebody that's supposed to who signed up to protect and serve. We can't give you a pass. Get your ass off the force. How about that? An eye for an eye. But y'all flood my comments. I want to know what y'all think about a black security guard who lawfully can carry, gets boots in his ass by the police, racially profiled, and he was just on his way. To get his baby some French toast and bacon. 250. Oh, I'm gone.